Hi, I'm Wayne Kiewicz. I'm the Fire Chief for the City of Richfield and joining me today is Christy Moline, Injury Prevention Manager for the Children's Hospital and Clinics of Minnesota. And we're here to talk about a little bit of risk, our risk reduction program and in specific the uh, child safety seat program. We've been inspecting child safety seats here in Richfield for well over 15 years and with the new facility we've decided to partner with Children's Clinics to uh, give us a little bit more better depth in uh, providing that service. Christy, why is it so important to have your child safety seat checked? Well, motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death in children um, in all age groups up through 14. And it's important for parents to understand how to properly install a car seat. And four out of five times, car seats are used or installed improperly. So visiting a car seat clinic like we're providing in partnership with Richfield Fire is a good way for parents to just get education and information um, and some validation on, on the fact that their seat is or is not installed properly and then tips on how to use it properly. Great. Yeah. I know when I was doing the child safety seats, I was one of the techs for a couple of years, it was extremely rare to see a seat come in that was installed properly. Right. It's, and, it's, it's challenging because there are so many different vehicle makes and models and so many different um, car seats and we um, provide information to parents on the proper seat for their vehicle, mm -hmm. the proper seat for their child based on age and height and weight. Um, so it's, it's always a, a good idea to get a second opinion because it's not exactly intuitive. Right, and child seats aren't just for infants and toddlers anymore. Right. They go all the way up, I mean there's a state law that came effect in 2009 and we're, we're can you tell me a little bit about that. Sure, yep, in 2009 Minnesota passed uh, what's termed the booster seat law, which requires children under eight years old, under four feet nine inches tall to be properly restrained, and that means a booster seat for most kids under that height and, and uh, age limit. But if somebody has a question whether their child will fit properly in their vehicle, mm -hmm. they can make an appointment and come in and you'd be able to tell them whether that child needs a booster seat or not. Right. If they're under four foot nine yep. or eight years of age. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Now, there, is there any charge for this service? No, we are, because of uh, the partnership with Richfield Fire and uh, the outreach that we're doing through children's hospitals and clinics, we are providing this free to the community and you can make an appointment and we'll have the information available on the screen for you to make an appointment to visit one of our clinics. Uh, the next clinic is Saturday, May 19th from 9 to noon and appointments usually take 30 minutes. Excellent, and we also have clinics scheduled, uh, two more clinics after the one in May. I believe there's one in August and there's another one in... Uh, November. November. So there you have it. Uh, feel free to take, send an email to the email address you're gonna see on your screen to schedule an appointment and we'd be happy to see you here at the fire station with Children's Hospital, the technicians, and get your child safety seat inspected because we don't want anybody to get hurt in a crash if they don't need to. Right.